Only a dumb person at one time did not complain about the cost of the 15 crossover, which is, in fact, a lifted version of the Impreza hatchback. Needless to say, Subaru asks very dearly for its far from the most comfortable cars, and this, alas, has long become a tradition. What does the company offer in return? First of all, driving pleasure, and secondly, whatever one may say, reliability. Without these pillars, the small but proud Subaru would have died long ago. The crossover 15 appeared in Russia at the turn of 2011 and 2012. The model did not become a revelation, just a different look at the Impreza hatchback, which was wrapped in protected plastic and erected at a height of 220mm above the road. Subaru traditionally left the diesel engine to the Europeans, bringing us only two gasoline-opposed atmospheric fours with a timing chain drive, engines of 1.6 liters FB16B and 2.0 liters FB20B. In the secondary market, motors are found with approximately equal frequency, however, there are still more claims from subarologists for the 2.0 liter unit. Despite the fact that both engines are quite reliable, the 2.0 liter was often accused of being an oil burner, which eloquently declared itself at the turn of 100,000 kilometers. Shrinkage in a liter and a half, from replacement to replacement, was in the order of things. It happened that high oil consumption was also observed at earlier periods, after 40,000 kilometers. However, in such cases, the manufacturer changed the cylinder block assembly under warranty, complaining about poor quality piston rings. However, in 2014 the node was modified, and the issue seems to be considered closed. Few complained about the chirping when starting a cold engine and even after warming up. Mechanics sin on the chain tensioner mechanism, while at the same time suspecting the ABCS valve, active valve control system, again the piston rings and the timing chain itself. The warranty workers solved these problems by replacing the block. It's not wear, it's blisters. Among the transmissions, there were two, a mechanical five, or, depending on the engine, six-speed gearbox and a chain variator of Subaru's own production. The company is justifiably proud of the latter, since it surpasses many analogs of competitors in terms of reliability. Depending on the type of gearbox, the all-wheel drive system also differs. Classic and reliable permanent drive 50 times 50 with self-locking center differential and viscous coupling, only on versions with mechanics. However, the active torque distribution, ACT, scheme installed on the CBT version, which transmits 60% of the power forward and 40% to the rear wheels, does not cause any particular complaints. But with the suspension, some owners sometimes have misunderstandings. Among their reasons, perhaps, the omnivorous properties of the suspension itself, provoking a refusal to drive carefully. So, having forgotten from permissiveness, it is quite possible to lose wheel bearings, shock absorbers, or front levers on runs of 50 to 80,000 kilometers that are quite harmless for them with careful operation. Don't be surprised if the steering rack rattles. By the way, Subaru knows about these knocks, but they try not to rank them among the malfunctions, since they do not have particularly critical mandatory consequences. As for the body, the Subaru's safety margin was not enough for it. 15 is one of the modern cars, the paintwork of which, alas, leaves much to be desired. The body, the hood in the first place, is quickly covered with chips, and the iron may well take a pebble flying out from under the wheels of the car in front. The windshield does not differ in any special strength. Over time, wear appears on it, by the presence of which, as well as chips, by the way, when buying a car, you can judge its prosperous past. Meetings with pebbles for glass often turn into cracks. It is not uncommon for the cracks in the fog light glasses, which were hit by cold water in the midst of work. Not too warm words are awarded to the interior of the car. This is where economy comes into play. There are many questions about crackling plastic, seats, and decorative finishing materials. As we expected, the Subaru 15 turned out to be head and shoulders above many European competitors in terms of reliability. Although among the competitors, Asians, they are no less strong. When it comes to driving and enjoyment, the 15 excels. Serious failures are rare. However, in terms of equipment and preservation of the presentation, our today's hero is far from a champion. Although it is not cheap in maintenance, it is quite promising in the secondary market due to the reliability of power elements. Suspension. Possible suspension failures are often provoked not by the weakness of the nodes and their characteristics, but by the driving style of the owners. 
the suspension is so omnivorous that it causes many suborologists to misperceive the danger. Forgetting, they stop slowing down in front of the pits. The result is obvious, leaky racks and torn silent blocks. Transmission. A CVT with a mode for driving with disabled ESP does not suit many with sluggish acceleration. However, if the car on the move, and being in neutral, does not twitch, the knot will still serve pretty well. At the same time, do not forget that for the variator, off-road slippage and tight driving are fatal. And he loves regular oil changes, every 45,000 kilometers. Engine. The engine oil level sensor may light up. In this case, the level will actually be normal. As a rule, a reboot helps to extinguish the alarm. If the sensor insists, it is changed. Difficulties with starting may arise after 50 to 70,000 kilometers. This is usually blamed on the incorrect firmware of the engine control unit. Salon. Salon 15 echoes the economy trend. Over time, plastic begins to creak, painted decorative elements wear out. Some even complain about the cracked steering wheel cover. Not uncommon, the creak of the backs of the front seats. The defect is eliminated by strengthening the frame. The lateral support of the seats is destroyed. Inside the chair the foam rubber is torn against the frame. 